Holy crap. So every week on my stream, Archer runs a poll for what people in the chat think the supercharger this week is going to be. Oftentimes, my community is really normal about it. They do, you know, hero supercharger, trap, weapon. Corey Perk is a popular one because we see these things a, a lot. This week, however, my community was very optimistic in voting in the Survivor Supercharger, and holy crap, we got one. So this is available in the weekly mission if you are a power level 124 player who has completed the Canny quest line up until Canny Storm Shield 5. Not just doing Storm Shield 5, but getting to that part in the quest line. And I think you need to have Twine 10 done. If you're a power level 124, then you can get these missions and queue them. And Survivor Superchargers are really rare. We get them like twice a year, and they contribute to maxing out your power level so if you want to get to have your power level like this you're gonna need 320 survivor superchargers and uh, i've done so i got a little overflow over here but if you want to get your power level up and you're a high level player who can run this that's a great thing to do uh survive the horde melee mayhem is also available this week i don't actually have it prepared oh i do wow okay that's actually open in a tab perfect so melee <laughs> melee mayhem is this right here ranged weapons and ammo from supply drops are limited and any ranged attacks made against husks will ricochet off and damage you you. But on the bright side, your trap damage and melee attack speed will be boosted. So put away those guns, craft some extra traps, and start swinging. So basically, don't use ranged weapons, just use melee. If you guys want like a really good ninja loadout, I've got that on my channel. Super easy. I'll probably link it down below. Uh, the ninja tier list and the ninja loadout. This is, wow, 111,000. That is a very researched video. I put a lot of work into that to show you guys the best ninja loadouts in general. And I've actually got recent videos on my channel in the fun loadouts playlist showcasing the strongest Stormblade build. This is super fun. This is probably what I'm going to be running in that and uh, really, really good build right there. So a couple of melee options. I'll link all three of those videos down below. The Ninja tier list, the loadout, and the Stormblade build because those are all super fun and we'll get Melee Mayhem taken care of you. You get the Husk Horde spray as well. That's not new. In fact, if I go to... Oh man, emotes? Is that where I go to... If I do husk there we go so that's what you'll be getting for this week's it's uh why is this locker so broken um it, this is not new but it's from last year so if you don't have that either way you can pick it up today and we also have another amazing uh, another amazing coincidence so matteo got challenge five unlocked for low gravity and i actually recorded a video on it i i know i told you guys i wasn't going to do it but i just didn't want to do two three and four and since he made that easy we went ahead and recorded that i just because I thought it would be fun, used a gimmicky build that involved first shot Rio in the lead. I'll let that video going live tomorrow explain that loadout specifically, but an alternative to the Nocturno that I use in that build, the Rat King is actually a great pick, and lo and behold, it's available. A week late in the sense that you really should not use that build for this current Melee Mayhem modifier, but still, the Rat King is super rare. We've seen this, this is the third time I think I've ever seen it since 2018. So it's a super, super uncommon weapon. Definitely pick that up. It's a hard hitting weapon that has 10 shots in a row, slow firing. I'll link a video down below that specifically showcases a First Shot Rio and Rat King build. If you put like uh, five hits in a row, uh, cause an explosion on this weapon because it shoots five pellets it should explode on every hit it's a really fun combo super good weapon and uh definitely definitely want to pick that up while it's here the rat king comes to the shop randomly it cannot be predicted and the fact that we are already seeing another one when we've gotten the jabberwocky a couple times in recent history and really good weapons in general it's cool to see that this shop is kind of crazy the bonus reward this week in the shop is the epic perk up so it should be about 1200 of that available i did do that math correctly right i'm just sort of memorizing eight times 150 because we've seen it come around 1200 i can do i can do memorizing math that's what i do and you got to pick up the legendary flux okay six is what i'm buying legendary flux super useful for researching weapons and heroes awesome to have it and you can only get 50 every week from the shop so pick it up dashing hair ken is one of the heroes available this week he gives you kunai storm egg bombs it's not complicated kind of fun if you want to spam kunai i'll link my kunai video down below i know it's old but it's still a perfectly fine build they haven't touched any of those heroes and he just makes it do more damage it's actually pretty fun in dungeons i know dungeons is out of season right now but when it comes back you'll be glad you have them and the easter egg launcher again video down below uh, i don't know what video i have on this but i'll link it and it's uh, a an easter egg launcher you shoot it the egg sits on the ground like a landmine and then enemies walk into it uh, it will explode on impact so you either hit to have to hit the enemies directly or shoot where they're going it's a fun weapon does pretty good damage and you have a very excited rabbit there to shoot your eggs out while you're uh, while you're gaming i think that just about wraps up everything save the world related so let's uh hippity hop onto a sponsor segment yeah ant legion is the sponsor of the uh, stream for the next week here and i'm shouting them out in a video 
If you guys want to support me directly, this game is free on mobile. You can download it with that QR code or in the link in the description down below. If you reach queen level five or if you rally an attack, it supports me directly. Hey, somebody on stream just did that now. It's a really easy way to support me. I get a financial kickback when you reach those different levels. And uh, there's even a stretch goal. If you're somebody who has $5, the first top up pack, thank you guys so much, is available. You can see it on the top right of your main menu. If you buy it for only $5, it supports me directly. It gets you that orange uh, orange ant and it uh, helps me out a lot. So thank Thank you everybody who's participating with that sponsor links down down below all right battle royale so i actually don't know what's going on here i should have probably researched this in advance i'm gonna pause for a second all right glad i paused the video because this was not showing up for me i had to restart my game it's a shrieking star quest pack that's pretty funny pun right there it is nine dollars but it'll include this entire set which we'll go through in a second and you can earn the v bucks through i believe challenges and quests that's kind of the idea so this is what it looks like super fun bundle it looks like a it looks like a devil valentine skin i don't know you obviously got the lego which is of course adding to the price of it which is great got that lego tax going on making everything more expensive whether or not you enjoy the mode the wings are here as well i'm sorry the satire ends now but it is actually a really cool looking set so if you're interested in spending any money there you go you do also get the v bucks and the entire set so it's it's nine dollars but if you're somebody who buys v bucks regularly instead of buying you know nine dollars for a thousand v bucks why not get an entire uh, cosmetic set with it if you pick it up with code mista i will get five percent of your purchase at no further cost to you that's in real life dollars and it supports me directly it's a super good way to support me if you guys ever want to pick up anything using my code on that note i'm going to say a quick thank you to everybody who is using my code if you ever want to uh, be featured in the videos just paying me in here i really appreciate it ranger here just went insane beast cat went to my account and bought some stuff yeah apparently my cat just went on a spending <gasps> a spending spree with um uh, the picture JK code missed it. Yeah. Yeah. Code beast. That's not me. Actually, you can use beast for advanced GG products, but, uh, missed uh, in Fortnite. I, Ooh, yeah. And also actually works on the Epic store. So if you want to buy anything in the Epic store using code Mista, that supports me directly. And, uh, I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I really do appreciate it. Uh, also, using huh, using my link to get Ant Legion, getting level five clean. You got what is this video of? Am I gonna regret? It's just a blurry cat video. Oh, why are you giving your cat a fish? Okay, <laughs> I need to not watch those. Uh, I did read this off camera, by the way. Elixity, super kind words, having a great time in the community, and again, code Mista as well. I really appreciate it. I also wanted to say um, from this, yeah, apparently using my code in Rocket League also works. So if you're somebody who plays Rocket League, <gasps> code Mista. Woo! You'd think we're done. Nope, it's just a crazy day for Save the World. Lots going on in BR, got a sponsor going on. Let's move on to the missions for the day. No V-Bucks, as you probably would have guessed. I do show those zero seconds in and they're in the thumbnails, but going in adventures, thank you, Elixity. Uh, Rescue Trooper is available in the 34 zone. She improves your SMG and AR damage by 50% in the lead, 17% in support. Still gonna do that as a purple copy. So if you're a low level, if you're a low power level player going through ventures, definitely pick her up. 4X Reperk in the 46 4 player. Then we're gonna be moving on to the 94 zone right over here. 4X Reperk in the Cat 4. And then the 108 zones right above it have a couple of good missions. 4X Drops of Rain and 4X Eye of the Storm. So if you need evolution materials, those two missions are gonna be good. And then in the 124, I believe we have the Maverick, decent shotgun shoots through crowds any element good weapon uh and then lastly i think that's it actually just the maverick so in twine we got the 82 zone over here 88 sorry vacuum tube shotgun really good chain lightning weapon even in the nature zones throughout the season that's still going to be a good weapon and the student electric field one of the best traps in the entire game it could be nature or um or uh energy which is <laughs> i was gonna say a good mission to run because explosive weapons do more damage but it's smoke screen which will reduce the damage of all your smokes uh, of all your <laughs> all your explosives I'm sorry, you guys. It's, it's unfortunate. Uh, Dragon Scorch, also a great hero. Even if the commander slot is purple, he's still going to make your Dragon Slash do a ton of damage. 4X perk up in the 108 4 player, and then there was the Legendary Survivor. The only one we have available today is in the 108 Repair the Shelter, so if you want a Legendary Survivor, there you go. In both the... Just the 116. Yeah, okay. 4X Lightning the Bottle and the Cat 4, and I think that's it for the 116s. Yeah, I had one more note. Seal and Electric Field. Again, still as good of a trap as it was two seconds ago. So, yeah, that and 4X Lightning the Bottle. 116s are pretty good. 4X Reperk of the 124 4 player. Then we got the 132s with 4X Lightning the Bottle and 4X Reperk. That was Reperk, right? Yeah, okay. I got it mixed up. I got a lot going through my brain right now. Thrasher, best SMG in the entire game available in the 140 Limited Collect. Great weapon to pick up. I said I wanted to run that in Horde mode, and I'm remembering that now. Although it's mainly Mayhem this week, so very bad timing maybe we could run the normal mode i don't know 4x eye of the storm plus 369 reperk nice in the 140 zone plus uh, 4x eye of the storm 
and the 160s this week are something of note. So we get a Survivor Supercharger, probably one of two we'll see this entire year. And then it's just... These are the, some of the worst 160s we've had in a while. The only decent reward is Deliver the Bomb, but Deliver the Bomb will not count towards your 160s. So it's good for perk up and nothing else. We got Reperk as an alert, Epic, Eye of the Storm, and we'll get Amp up throughout. So maybe one of each if you want to spam any of these. I guess the Ride the Lightning would be the easiest. Maybe Retrieve the Data, but it's got the Healing Death Burst. Brutal set of 160s for such an excellent reward. So uh, yeah, maybe you want to wait a day or two. Huskbuster in the 64 zone in Canny, one of the best shotguns in the entire game. Great weapon. Uh, cost of performance is awesome on that. 4X Eye of the Storm in the 74 player. And then the final mission I'm going to be pointing out is in Plankerton. The 23 4 player has 4X Drops of Rain. <laughs> Lots going on. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new. I am live. Twitch link down below if you're watching this a couple hours after it goes up. Definitely come say hi. Other than that, I'll uh, see you guys tomorrow. I've got a couple of horde runs going out. I think I'm just going to post Melee Mayhem and Low Gravity again. So enjoy like two hours of content and uh, that'll be up in the morning.